Oh my. Oh no! Come on. Get up, get up, get up, get up! Come on, get back to the dock. That's bad. Howdy do, ladies and gentlemen. Today, we're gonna be checking out an overhaul of the Arctic dock. Because we all know it needed one. Because, I mean, look how basic it is. It's just, it's just a, a regular dock. You know, a lot of docks need some overhauls. And this one, I love the Arctic. I always have loved the Arctic. It's, it's It just snows. I love snow. I mean, let, let's get some snow going here. Because I, I absolutely love snow. It's my favorite thing. It's beautiful. I absolutely love it. But today, we're checking out this amazing dock here today. And I've got a few boats here to show you just how cool this thing is. And how many boats it can hold. So, we've got a little main area right here in the middle, which is where you'd want to park your nicest boat that you can fit in here. So, I put a dinghy in here because that's the biggest thing I've got, I believe, that I can fit in here. My, uh, my regular boat was a little bit too big, so I had to take it out and not have it in here. But, this is where we'd keep our dinghies and we'd be able to get out real quick. You could park another boat up here in the front. We do have some anchors that you can anchor down your boat. Now... We've got we got a few boats here as well, and this is this is just the start of this, but it's a very well made add on. And I want to come back here to the very beginning of this, where we've got an elevator that goes all the way down to this. So let's let's, let's bring the elevator down. Uh, let's, let's try it there. The elevator down. Look at this. And then I can just go elevator up. So say you have a uh, maybe a go-kart or something you brought. You could park it down there. Don't know why you would because you won't be able to get any farther due to that structure there. But you could park something down there. And up here, I believe this is fuel. It is. It is a giant fuel tank. I mean, this thing is absolutely giant. You ain't going to run out of fuel for a long time with this thing. I mean, unless you got a Titanic. Let's go ahead and look at the other side of the dock. It also comes with a boat pre-installed at the dock. If, if, that, if that would be the right word for it. Pre-installed? Pre I don't know. Anyways, we got this boat here. It's basic, but it's very well detailed. And you can see the golden accents of the doors. I didn't even know you could do that. But that looks really good. We've got habitation room. we got scuba gear. The boat that comes with the dock... It's very well detailed as you can see here you can do some repairs you can also store stuff inside of this boat let's go ahead and go downstairs and we can see our engine room here got some massive engine let's go ahead and start these up here just to show that they do work so these engines work perfectly fine they, they also look really stinking cool let's go ahead and go up top here as you can see, we've got a very nice deck here where you can go ahead and open. Let's go ahead and see if we can open this. Look at that. So, with it opening kind of like this, I did not expect that. We would not be able to get a helicopter in there. Maybe you could, but I thought that it actually lowered down. If it had lowered down, then you could actually put something in there, but uh, it is not lowered down. So, let's go ahead and check out the cabin that's up top here. You can access it through this door here. Here you have the driver's seat, which that definitely gets in the way, but you can see just how nice this radar looks. And then we've got a passenger seat here to watch out for anything. Now, this thing spits out a ton of exhaust, my goodness. Let's go ahead and get up on land here. We do need to tie this thing down. I don't think it's tied down. Let's go ahead and attach a rope there and get as close as we can. Attach a rope there, so that way it should be sort of held down a little bit that should help it a little bit let's grab this rope here we're gonna test the thing against some storms we're gonna put it against the most storms we can get at this is a this is a ship that arrived here on the port the other day i'm not sure where it came from but uh somebody didn't leave it and they didn't tie it down so we're just gonna leave it let it go i don't, I don't know it's it's a very interesting looking boat though oh my goodness what was that what just happened? My boat just took extreme damage. What in the world? Uh. What just happened? Okay, all fixed up. So let's go ahead and anchor this thing down because we're going to have to anchor it down well. If we're going to test these things, this thing against storms, see how well they can hold the ship in. Need to grab this rope here. Let's get one here. And one right there. Okay, so we got two ropes on this. 
Uh, we might have to go ahead and re-rope this as well. Okay, we got that anchored in. Someone's ran a boat. I guess we could anchor it in for them, but... Let's see. This is the true test. How well can this dock hold these ships on here? Is there an anchor for these? It looks like there's one right there. Boom, there we go. We got them all anchored up. Okay. I don't think we have to anchor the one in the middle. I don't think we have to. Uh, we Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything to anchor it in the first place. So, we're just going to leave that. And then we're just going to throw the biggest storm I can. So, here we go. Let's, let's throw at as much as we can. Full wind, a little bit of fog, get some volumetric lighting. Rain, oh my, the water's coming up over the dock. So this is a true test to see what would happen if you were in hurricane-type winds. And oh my goodness, this looks pretty bad because not only could it slam into the dock like we saw earlier, it could cause some severe damage to the dock and the boats themselves. It looks like everyone is holding on for the most part. The dinghy's having some issues. It looks like it's getting caught underneath the dock there. Yeah, it is being held underneath, but it should be fine for the most part. It won't last in there for too long. It definitely needs some rope anchors inside of it, but other than that, it works great. And this thing, this rope is getting pull to, pulled to its limits. Oh my, I heard damage. Who was it with? Which one took damage? Uh, these two seem fine. It might have been my boat again. I didn't know where that came from. No damage. No, I don't know where that damage came from. I heard it, but I don't see it. This is impressive. Look how good this looks. That is amazing. Oh my, the grackle is getting stuck. Well, that is pretty useful. You can use this dock, and it's definitely a great extension. Oh, my. I, although, you definitely want to have everything properly locked. Oh, it's that wheel. That wheel is getting damaged. You want to have everything properly locked down. Otherwise, you might have some issues. But it's well lit up, and it looks amazing. I think there's a tornado. I'm getting pulled. There might be a tornado going on. Oh my. Oh no. Come on. Get up. Get up. Get up. Get up. Come on. Get back to the dock. That's bad. Okay. So that is a fear you got to worry about. Oh man. This current's taking me away. I don't know. Okay. I might come back here. Grab onto the ladder. I got it. Yes. Okay. Yeah, you gotta be wary about that. There's so much wind and stuff that it will take you away. Okay, so that that's something to learn about this. But guys, please go check out the author. This is an awesome, awesome overhaul. And I'm thinking about doing a survival series. I'm not sure if I should or not. What do you guys think? I'm thinking about doing one. Maybe classic with the research mode, the research tree. Oh my... And in doing that, I'm thinking about overhauling the whole world and having all kinds of really cool add-ons just like this one. Now, I don't know if we would do mostly rescue. Oh my goodness. So guys, thank you so much for watching today's episode. This is an awesome dock and we might use it in a, in a, a future survival episode. This, this uh, boat that came in here, it's very interesting. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you. Today's Bible verse is Romans 12 verse 10. It says, be devoted to one another in love. Honor one another above yourselves. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. God bless you.